Hello everybody, welcome back to another tech tip here at 45 Drives and today we're talking about Veeam, our Veeam certification and why we're using XFS on top of our RAID arrays instead of ZFS. So let's get into it. Like I said, we're now Veeam certified here, our Storinator product line is, and that's awesome. Veeam is an awesome product. They're used widely in the industry and we have many a customer using it and they've always asked for us to be certified. So we did get certified. You want to learn more about all that and our architecture and that process, check out a video uh, colleague Mitch Hall did. Um, but what I want to talk about today in particular is maybe a little point of confusion. We spend so much time telling you why we love ZFS. ZFS, 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 and why ZFS is the best open source software defined file system. But our uh, Veeam certified solution is using XFS with LVM and MDADM for RAID underneath. Why the difference? Well, the difference is the main driver of that fact is to use Veeam at its very best, you need a feature called what's called an XFS reflinks. In Linux right now, XFS is the only file system that supports this feature. Side note, ZFS is working on it. It might actually be in the latest release, but Veeam doesn't completely support it yet. So we're still using XFS. So what does that mean to you and uh, addressing the perils of storage with your storage system, but you're not gonna use ZFS. So since Veeam supports this particular use case the best and makes their software um, as fast as possible, uh, it gives us their fast synthetic backups better overall performance compared to any other file system, and just like a very efficient use of the data, we must use XFS. So this is the beauty of open source software. We can pivot. Now we lose some things ZFS gives us, the copy on write nature and everything like that, but that's okay, because Veeam's gonna do a lot of that work for us on top. So what your architecture will look like in your storage server when you use our Veeam certified architecture is you'll use MDADM for your RAID level. Now, this is classic uh, Linux RAID. Um, it's been in the kernel for a long time. It's proven, it's reliable. It is not copy on write, but it is fast, reliable, and awesome. So we'd build you a couple RAID 6s. We would then use LVM. That would be our volume group manager. Um, that layer would then stripe a bunch of these RAID arrays together to give you fast, large, single namespace in the server. And then we put XFS on top of that, and that allows Veeam to use all its best features. So where ZFS combines those three layers into one command, awesome, well two commands technically, but I digress. Um, XFS, LVM, and MDADM gives a little bit more of a setup, but it allows you to use Veeam in the way that they feel is best. So that's a little peek on why we have chosen that architecture. Again, I encourage you to go watch Mitch's video on our, on our Veeam setup, very educational. Um, like I said, we are Veeam certified, very happy to be working with a great company like that. It's a tool that is used wide. And honestly, shout out to Veeam too. Um, well, it's proprietary in nature and closed source. They move with the times really well. I would call them almost neo legacy in the way, because as soon as uh, VMware did all their nonsense, uh, what did Veeam do? They worked on a Proxmox integration. They are up on the times. They're hip with it, if you will. Hey kids, no, I, I'm kidding. My point does still stand. Veeam's an awesome product. We're happy to be certified with them. Um, my call to action is too long here. Go watch Mitch's video. Please give us a ring. We can tell you all about it. We can hook you up with our uh, various certified products and check out the website for a little more information. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll catch you next time. Tap it in, little tappy tap, 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 tap,